Greetings, greetings. Now, welcome. Today, we'll be looking at orthographic projection. Now, orthographic projection is basically the sister, a cousin to isometric projection. We have already done isometric projection, but now we're looking at orthographic projection. They work together. They are cousin drawings which help the reader to interpret fully what is being presented. Um, as I mentioned initially, that isometric drawings are presentation drawings, pictorial drawings, which shows you a pictorial view or a picture view of a completed object, what it will look like when it's completed, while the orthographic projection is the engineering drawing, which gives the manufacturer an uh, idea of what he's creating. And the pictorial or the isometric or oblique or present any kind of presentation drawing so shows the client what they will be getting or what they're paying for. All right, moving along. The objectives of today's lesson is at the end of the lesson, you should understand the concept of orthographic projection, know the principle and the processes involved um, in orthographic projection, knowing the various planes or axes of projection, be able to extend the process involved in developing orthographic views and develop an appreciation for the various types of orthographic projections. Now, first things first. An interesting fox. There are two types of projections, right? Two classifications, two categories. We have first angle projection and third angle projection. Um, first angle projection is used in Europe and most of the world. However, America and Australia uses the method known as third angle projection. Third angle is basically my favorite, which has is a particular way to lay out the views that we'll be drawing. All right. What is orthographic projection? It is defined as projection of a single view of an object, such as a view of the front onto a drawing surface in which the lines of projection are perpendicular to the joint surface. Number two definition. The representation of related views of an object as if they are in the same plane are projected by orthographic projection. Now this may be difficult to understand but in simple terms orthographic projection is looking at an object that is three-dimensional in one direction that shows you only one side at a time. So let's say you have a cube in your hand, you're turning it to look at it and to see each side separately or by itself. All right, let's del delve into it. There are two categories or types of orthographic projections. The first one is first angle projection and next is third angle projection. So these are the different symbols or the, various, the two symbols that represent each. So first angle projection is top part of the cone the side of the cone. Then here at the top of the cone, the side of the cone. The difference between these two are one, the base of the cone is pointing to the circles, which is first angle projection. The broader side points to the circles. While in third angle projection, the short side points to the circles. Now, if you should pick this up, all of this up and put it over here, it will become third angle projection right so this is the difference these are different this is what an orthographic projection looks like where we say angle first angle third angle um, we use the first quadrant which is first angle and the third quadrant which is the third angle second quadrants and fourth quadrants are not generally used because those would be behind the object and the the other sides, the bottom and behind and the back, and we don't primarily use those views. All we need is three views, plan, front, and end. Plan, representation of top. So this is a plan, and this is end, our side view. And this gives you the third angle view. This is the side and the plan. This gives you first angle view. So if you see in the third angle, top is here, this narrow part is pointing to the circles, right? And then here, the broad part of the base is pointing to the circles. So that's why they look 
this way. So the broad part is pointing to the circles in first angle, third angle, the short side is pointing to the circles. Comparing first and third angle projections. Here is a better diagram that tells you. So the top part of the drawing in third angle projection, the top part of the drawing is at the top, which is the plan is at the top, the front is at the is below the plan and the end is beside the front. Now in all projections the end is always beside the front and the plan stands alone. So in first angle projection we see the plan is below, the front above and the end on the opposite side. So it's there like the inverse of inverse of each other. Various planes. Profile plane, frontal plane and horizontal plane. These, these planes are basically the different axes. So the frontal plane would be X axis. The horizontal plane would be the Z axis. And the profile plane would be the Y axis. And these are the three different axes that we draw on, which explains why it's called three dimensional. Length, width, Y height, or depth. Applications of orthographic projection. Can use it in drawing the different sides of a house that is three-dimensional so we separate each side and draw them we call them elevations um, for modeling vehicle body parts and machining parts so we have the plan this is third angle because the plan is at the top that's the top of the car then the side which is referred to as the front the front can be whichever direction you're looking in so this is the front and end and end then we have toys and weapons, same procedure. Video game console and one thing that you can design. Here is a simulation of orthographic projection and how it begins. So we begin by drawing our x and y axes. Then we offset from our x and y axes like 10 millimeters between the x and y axis then we start using our measurement 45 degrees here is used to project lines from the plan to the 45 and then down to, to form the end so we take measurement from the isometric drawing and produce the orthographic so the arrow here points to the front so we the arrow usually points to where we are looking at first and calling front so we start with the front Drawing this side here is here. Then this 22 and 22 is this 22 here. So we're drawing this part because you'll see this round edge like a rectangle. Like everything cylindrical or round will look like a rectangle in, in orthographic projection. So we're drawing the base, which is here. No, base because it's cylindrical, but from front way it looks like a rectangle. Uh -huh. Center line, projecting lines above. Then we're trying to produce the plan right now. So this is the front. We're going to produce the plan. The plan is looking from up here downwards. So looking downwards. So we're producing the plans now. So from here, project the lines upwards. Then form the circle of radius 20, which is in here. The diameter is 40, so the radius is 20. And then in hidden line, this big circle, which is the one below, because you won't be able to see it from above, then you have it below in broken lines. Then we're projecting the lines to the 45 degrees and then downwards to form the end view. Project the center line, form the base, which is the height here. Mm -hmm. Project the height of here all the way up. This thickness here, let's transfer it there. The circles in the side right there. Plus the outer circle, which is 25, this one here. Right, the connection, tangential lines. Forming the circle. Hidden detail lines for the detail of this circle coming through this one. So this one cuts all the way through, and this is what this is representing. And this is the big circle, which is this one here. 
in detail lines for these circles showing that they pass all the way through right then put the hidden detail lines for them these ones also up here and that's it Let's look at something else. 